hello guys welcome back and in the last video we have created the recycler view with a dummy set of data now in this video we will fetch the data from the server so i already have my web services that is fetching me the data this is the url you can use the same url in your own project and you can get the url from the description of the video so we will fetch this data the data is in json format and this curly braces a curly braces denotes a json object and an square brace denotes a json array and here we have a json array and the array again contain contains a number of json objects you can see it here so we will fetch this data in our android project and display it on in our recycler view so let's start the as you can see we have three items name about and image so in this video i will not display the image we will display the image in the next part but still i will change the model and define a new variable there inside list item private string image url and we can change the constructor as well now we can define a getter as well for getting image url so right click generate getter and click on image url so we have the getter now copy this url and come inside main activity and here we will define a string private static final string url data equals to and we'll paste the url here now as now we need to perform a network request here so for performing the network request we will be using volley so write on google volley j center and go to this link and from here come inside gradle and copy this line and paste it inside your app level build.gradle file inside dependencies block so here i'll paste it and now we need to sync the project so our project is synced with gradle and as now we are going to perform network request we also need internet permission in our android manifest file so define internet permission here now again go inside your main activity and we will remove this line as this time we are going to use actual data that is coming from our server so remove this So to fetch the data we will call a method load recycler view data and now after on create define this method private void load recycler view data. Now as the data is coming from internet it may take some time depending on the internet speed so first we will show a progress dialog while the data is getting fetched we will display the progress dialog that means the data is getting fetched so define a progress dialog here progress dialog and we can pass the current context and then we will set a message to progress dialog loading data okay and then we will display the progress dialog now after this we will fetch the data from the server for this we will create a new string request so 
we will create string request this is inside volley we already got added volley to our project now the first parameter is the type of the http request and we are using the get request so we will write request dot method dot get the second parameter is the url where we need to send the request so we already defined the url data so we'll write the url data the next parameter is a listener so type new here and press control space and you will see this select this and the listener will be added same we will do for the other parameter this is the last one this is an error listener if some error has occurred while sending the request then this method will be executed and in success this method will execute now we have the request to execute this request we need a request queue object so define request queue and we'll get it from volley and it takes the current parameter current context as a parameter so we have the request queue and we'll add this request to this request queue we'll add this request to our request queue so write request queue dot add and we'll pass the string request object that's it now in inside this method we will get the whole json string in this string variable so come here and create a new json object and pass this string here and this method can generate exception so we have to wrap it around try and catch so you can simply do it by pressing alt enter now we'll get the json array from the json object so we'll write array array equals to object dot get json array and we have to write here the array name so let's see what is the array name the array name is heroes so we will write it here So we have the array now we can get the data from this array so we'll run a loop here for int i equals to 0 array index started from 0 i is less than array dot length and then we'll increment i by 1 now here we will get the json object of current index so again create a json object and we'll pass the index now we will create a list item object and we will pass name about and image let's see we have written the same names or not name about and image so we got the data and we'll add this item to our list so we'll write list items dot add and we'll pass this list item object item that's it now after this loop we will create the adapter adapter equals to new my adapter and we will pass Let's see what we have written inside the constructor. We'll pass the list items and the context. So right here, list items and get application context as we are inside this inner class. So we cannot use this this time. 
so we have the adapter and now we will set the adapter to recycler view so write recycler view dot set adapter and pass the adapter object so we have passed the adapter and one thing is remaining we will dismiss the progress dialog so right here progress dialog dot dismiss now let's try running our app taking too much time that means something is wrong so let's check it uh, put toast inside this error method toast dot make text context volley error dot get message we'll see the actual error message which is happening and we'll show the toast and dismiss the progress dialog here as well now let's test again this time it's working fine so you can see the data is coming from the server maybe last time the internet was the issue and yes it is working fine and so that's it for this video friends and in the next video we will learn how we can display the image as well in recycler view items so thanks for watching and please leave your comments if you are having any confusion and i'll try to help you out there so see you in the next video Thank you.